Good morning. I am Shashikurun and welcome to online learning program in, in C++. In all the previous video lectures, we used one term that is the data type. Now, what is the data type? So, in this video lecture, I will discuss in detail about the data type, its types and also discuss the example. So, let's start with the topic. The data type specify what type of data or value a variable can store that is what type of value can be stored by the variable that is suppose this is a variable a and it is having the value 1 there is another variable b and this is having the value 1.5 so this is floating point and this is integer type so the data tells what type of value the variable can hold there are many types of data type the first type is primitive data type that is fundamental or basic data type the second is Drived data type the third is user defined data type so primitive data type are those data type which are predefined like integer character floating point double floating point and last is valueless that is the keyword to use integer data type is int for character it is char to represent floating point it is float and to represent double that is double all these are in small letter and to represent valueless is void so these are primitive data types the primitive data types are inbuilt data type which have some size that is the care data type is having the size of 1 bytes and this is used to store characters the value range is from minus 1 to 8 to 1 to 7 the other data type is int which is having the size 2 or 4 bytes depending upon compiler that is in turbo c++ it is 2 bytes in other compiler it is 4 bytes so 2 or 4 bytes and the value range is minus 3 to 7 6 8 2 3 to 7 6 7 and this data type is used to store the integer number that is without decimal point now the third is float that is having the size 4 bytes and this is used to store the floating points number 
and the value range is 3.4 e that is exponential minus 382 3.4 e plus 38 the next is double the size is 8 bytes and the value range is 1.7 e minus 3082 1.7 e plus 308 and this is used to store the floating point number the second data type is derived data type which is derived from primitive or you can say basic data type for example int a so a5 is a array so array is a collection of elements of similar data type so here all the elements that is a0 a1 up to a4 so all these values are of integer type and there is only single variable that is array a so this is drive data type which is taken from the primitive data types which is derived from the fundamental data type or basic data type now the third data type is user defined which is defined by the user that is class and structure class and structure are both user defined data types the class is a collection of data member and member function and it is user defined data type by default in class it is private and structure is also a user defined data which is collection of elements of different data type or heterogeneous data type class is also collection of elements of different data type but there in class all the members are by default private but in structure by default all the members are public so all the members can be accessed by all but in class it is by default private so it is cannot be accessed outside the class so that's all about data types in c++
so in this video lecture i discuss about the data types that is the type of value a variable can hold there are many types of data type that is primitive derived and user defined data type and there are also the size of these data type dependent upon the compiler that is in turbo c++ the size of char is 1 byte the size of int is 2 bytes the size of float is 4 bytes the size of double is 8 bytes whereas in code block the size of int is 4 bytes so it depends upon the compiler so that's all about the data type and thank you